Hey guys, so today is the first recipe I'm making out of my pantry. So I'm going to make a vegetable soup, but I'm going to make a stoop. I don't know if any of you guys are Rachel Ray fans, but she used to always make um, stoops. It's a soup, but it's a little thicker than a stoop, but it's not as thick as a stoop. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to just some onion, carrot, and celery, um, just sauteing in a pan. I'm using... Um, dehydrated onions and then I found this at Walmart it's um, freeze-dried garlic and I absolutely love it so if you haven't tried it give it a try it's it's worth the money because it doesn't go bad and it'll sit in your cabinet forever waiting for you to use it and you get every dime you paid for out of it um, so I haven't added the garlic yet but it's um, ready for me when I'm ready for it I have a bunch of vegetables that I had in my freezer um, half a bag of squash and zucchini, a half a bag of stir fry vegetables. Um, I also have like most of a bag of kale and some corn and some green beans that I'm going to add to this. So I have my notebook that I did my inventory of my freezer in, and so I took out the squash, the stir fry and the kale out of my freezer. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those off because I've used them. So they're gone. Okay, so I've added my broth and my vegetable juice and I'm just waiting for it to come up to a boil and then I'm going to add the potatoes. I cubed them up um, pretty small so they'll cook faster. And then once they cook for probably about five minutes I'm going to add the vegetables. And I will let them go for a little bit and then I will add the kale at the very last and just make sure the vegetables are, um, you know, cooked through, warmed through. And I'm going to probably add, I'm just making this up as I go along. I have not made this before. I've actually never made vegetable soup. Alrighty, so my soup came up to a boil. I added the potatoes and let them go for a little bit and then I just added all my vegetables. I ended up adding thyme and oregano, just a little bit of oregano, and I added some Worcestershire sauce to just kind of give it some extra flavor. Okay, so here it is all dished up. It smells really good. It looks good. I topped it with a little Parmesan cheese, and um, we're going to serve it with some naan bread, which is a little weird, but hey, it's what we're doing. So, this is dinner. Hey guys, it's Thursday, January 7th, and tonight for dinner we are having green chili chicken enchiladas. Okay, this is my plate all served up, and I'm just serving it with a couple of tortilla chips. I also made some banana bread. I had some pretty sad looking bananas, and then instead of throwing them away, I made some banana bread, and it was pretty yummy. Hey guys, it is Friday, January 8th, and I just put a couple chicken breasts with some barbecue sauce in my slow cooker, and um, I'm going to let that cook for a couple hours and tonight for dinner I'm gonna make some barbecued chicken pizza so I'll show you what that looks like when it's ready. We are having barbecued chicken pizza and I have added some some pickled jalapenos and some um, red onions that have been caramelized and just for fun a little feta cheese on top. The girls made their own little pizzas and they are mm. demolishing them. It is delicious. Delicious. They said it was the best pizza they've ever had. Mm. In the mm. whole mm. entire world. Mm. <laughs> she missed her mouth. So there you go. Okay, and this is my piece all plated up. It looks pretty yummy. And for dessert, I made a peach cobbler. Fresh out of the oven, it is still bubbling. Can you see the bubbles? Mm. Yummy peach cobbler. Hey guys, it's Jen. Today is Saturday, January 9th, and for dinner tonight we had leftover pizza, and I made some pistachio pudding for dessert. Good morning, YouTube. It's Jen. It is Monday. It's 20 till 11, and our day is getting started. I am cleaning today. The girls are doing school, so I'm going to get dinner started in the crock pot, so I'll show you what I'm making. Okay, so I have some pork ribs that I just put in the crock pot. And I just want to say, look at my kitchen. 
so it's a rare day that I go to bed with my kitchen looking like this. But last night the dishwasher was full and we we're watching Iron Man 3. We're trying to get through the Avengers series, so I kind of just let the kitchen slide last night. So, catch up this morning. But since I'm not going to the store that much this month, I'm trying to use what I have on hand. I'm going to make homemade barbecue sauce. And about 15 years ago when we were first married, me and this guy, we made this barbecue recipe. This is from a... See, I'm cleaning. He's cleaning. He's a good guy. This is from Betty Crocker's new cookbook that's very old. Um, so anyway, we made this barbecue sauce. I don't even remember what we were making. Probably brisket or something. And we added all kinds of stuff to it. Curry powder, black pepper, garlic pepper, red pepper, extra brown sugar. Okay, so not exotic ingredients, but we just played with the recipe. So it's been forever since I've made this. So I'm going to go ahead and make this um, to put on my ribs. Dinner tonight, I have some barbecued pork ribs with some rice and some corn. I mean, the ribs are just falling apart. They were in the crock pot, crock pot all day, so this is dinner. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, January 12th, and we're having chickpea curry with naan bread. This is a really quick and easy dinner. It takes less than 30 minutes to make, probably, and it's really good. It's a re recipe, and it's one of my favorites. Hey guys, tonight is Wednesday night and we're having fish tacos with mahi-mahi and some homemade guacamole and homemade salsa. I'm going to put some chips on my plate and that will be dinner. 